Hello, this is Adam from Mechanics Corporation. In this short video, I'll be showing you how to wire a 420 milliamp input into a Wellchem W600 controller with a combination card. Here we have a Senex Toughsonics level sensor. This has many different applications. It can be used to sense distance, it can be used to sense height in tanks for inventory, many different purposes. In a previous video, we wired this conductivity sensor into a combination card. The combination card can take two inputs. It can take a sensor input as well as a 4 to 20 milliamp input, such as this one right here. We're going to first turn off the controller and open it up. We'll see that the wiring for the conductivity sensor is already here. In order to determine the wiring for the sensor here, we are going to look at the diagram on the combination card. As I mentioned previously, we have the wiring here for each of the terminal blocks. We are going to be wiring this into sensor 1, so we're going to take a look at the sensor 1 card. So here we see the sensor 1 card. We know that this device is a 4 to 20 milliamp input, and we know from the manual that it is a 3 wire device. So we are going to follow the column that says 3 wire, and we're going to use the wiring that's specified there. So we're going to put this controller down. First thing I'm going to do is take the wire for this sensor and we're going to slide the wires through. So as we mentioned this is a three wire device so we're going to be hooking up three of these wires into the terminal block. This particular one we're going to start with blue, which is number 8. We're going to push the pin in, put the wire in, push the pin out. Next is 9, brown, black, it's going to be 11. Great. And that's all there is to it. So we're going to tie off the loose wires. We're just going to leave them out for our purposes though. We're going to close this back up and we can turn the controller on. So this sensor has been configured such that it gives a 4 milliamp signal when it is 4 inches away and a 20 milliamp signal when it is 20 inches away. So, now that the controller is booted up, we're going to need to go to the inputs in order to program this sensor. So, you can see here, S11 is the conductivity sensor. S12 is the temperature element in this conductivity sensor. So, we're going to go to inputs, going to unassigned, S13. So, that's the 4 to 20 milliamp input that we just wired the sensor into. I'm going to go here, S13. We're going to press configuration, we're going to type, we're going to AI monitor, analog input monitor. So I'm going to let that initialize. And we see here that it's uh, saying range alarm. There's no need to panic, it just means that we need to change some settings in the input. So we'll go to configuration mode here you can see that you can have the option to set various alarms for the certain distances. First we're going to scroll down though, and we're going to see transmitter is currently set to two wire powered. We said this was a three wire transmitter, so that's the setting we're going to put it to. I'm going to select that and press the check mark. Select moving that out now, we'll give it a second. And now you'll see that it's reading correctly. So right now it's giving us a percentage, but it is giving us the correct milliamp. So we're going to now program this input to give us the correct units that we want. So we're going to scroll down here. We're going to select units and we're going to put inches. Select check mark. And now we know that four milliamp is 4 inches and our 20 milliamp value is 20 inches. Alright, 
We can set certain alarms if you'd like to, you know, if it reaches certain levels. High levels, low levels in a tank, for example. You can change the name instead of saying AM monitor, you can change it to uh, tank height, for example. Right, so if you go back here, you can now see that it's reading. Take the reading at the sensor and move it up and down. You'll see that it's updating its value. We'll slowly bring that down. We'll move it back up. Inches. We'll take it a little higher up now. back down. So that's everything needed to set up an analog input for a Waltham W610 controller. Go to inputs here, you can see that the tank level is now showing 8 inches. So thanks for watching. If there are any questions about what you've seen, please give us a call at 416-240-1920 or visit us at metexcorporation.com.